Hello everyone and welcome back to Winmore TV. Here we are, a very special edition. We've got JDC Chairman Steve Brown back on because something is launching that is amazing, groundbreaking. Steve, JDC Virtual is now with us. How are you feeling that the cat is out of the bag at last? Oh, I've been absolutely buzzing. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been difficult, difficult for me to keep my mouth shut over the last couple of weeks. Um, I said we've been working on this probably sort of day and night for the last four weeks, really. Um, again, sort of, it's just been so much... Uh, got into this from not from myself darren um uh, wimble have been fantastic with all the graphics and the visuals and good arts pros work tired uh, anders from sweden has uh, been working tirelessly with us as well we know what you're like so it must have, you must have been biting your lip because we know you like to get everything out there as soon as possible yeah i'm pretty impatient and um i'm pretty sure that uh, anders has had enough of me by now but um yeah so it feels like i'm on a phone to him every 10 minutes but no i think um i'm, I'm hoping that everyone's gonna love it as much as we do so, so many questions about this. So, I'm going to put you on the spot as chairman here and hope you can answer these as honest as you can without letting too much out the bag until people are, are signed up. So, I guess the first one is, does this replace the current JDC system? No, absolutely not. This completely sits alone from the JDC current system. Um, obviously, we're very proud of that and that makes it the spine of the company. Um, just unfortunately, during these, these downtimes, we were faced with two options. And one of them was um, to sit on our hands and, and just let it pass over and, uh, and do nothing. Well, the other one was to get creative, roll our sleeves up and come up with some new initiatives in a stack of what we've done. Uh, that's great. So if it's obviously you've said it's different. So what are the differences between the two then to make them so unique and stand alone? Well, um, the JDC virtual is um, like a hybrid version, if you like, of the JDC routines. It's more difficult. We've actually added another badge or color. So for people that don't know what we do, um, we have like a martial arts grading system, um, which measures your ability and your darts accuracy. So we've got a, a gold badge um, to the range now. Uh, so uh, again, the, the scores, the thresholds are much higher. It's more difficult. Uh, and um, with the added um, pressure of playing, uh, like your, your attempts have to be live on Facebook. Again, is this just for JDC members? Are you trying to get the whole Darton community involved in this project then? Absolutely not. Currently, this, this is going to be available for anybody of the, over the age of 13, uh, male or female. Um, again, so we've got lots of uh, things to aspire to. Again, this is absolutely for everybody. So if you've just bought, if you're one of the thousands of people that's just bought a dartboard in the, in the last couple of months whilst you're on lockdown, get involved with this, and you know, and the, the, your first thought will be trying to achieve a, a purple a purple badge. Um, again, for the uh, ambitious amateur, then there's lots of tournaments you can qualify for. And again, it's all about self improvement. And uh, prom I can prom make one promise, and that's that if you play this game, you will get more accurate. I guess that's one of the huge benefits that practice at the moment. People are at home, so they've got plenty of time to practice. What are the other benefits behind the JDC virtual system for the darting world? Again, so you can, you're rewarded by, so at the end, you get the option to, um, it's completely free to play, which is a bonus, it's sort of a, certainly in these hard times as well. And we were sort of adamant that um, we don't want to monetize everything. It's about community. So we're part of a massive online community. And um, we've also, we're doing a, an international challenge as well. So we're challenging different countries. So each country will get one day to update their scores and so get a leaderboard that way. there will be a world ranking. Um, again, so after blocks of six, you get six, um, so six attempts, but you can only do one attempt today. So one live attempt today. You can practice as many times as you like, but you only get one live attempt today, which must be streamed on Facebook Live and kept on your page for 24 hours. Just a couple of things off what you said there. First one, was it a massive thing for you to be free to play in this current climate? Yeah, it's huge for us. Yeah, again, you know, it's not, you know, it's not time to be, um, to be greedy or, or to, to monetize things. It's about community. And um, darts is a great way of making him friends. Also, um, it's, a, it's a great sport to take up in these, in these downtimes as well. So hopefully as a sport, um, as a, um, people playing the game, I think um, we, we're, we're going to benefit from this shit thing. The other one was obviously on the ranking system you said there. Is it important for a system like this to have ranking systems and league tables available so you are competitive and you can see what you're doing against opponents and everything like that? Yeah, absolutely. Again, we, we wanted to make this completely transparent. This is why we're going to use Facebook Live as our model to go through and um, we've got moder moderators ourselves we'll be checking in people's scores uh, randomly also we're going to ask people to, to self-police this as well so um if you see if you feel someone's cheating then obviously there's a be an, an option for you to raise a red flag and you can go and check their scores but i uh, said so there's a lot to play for we've got um championships to qualify for uh again so you know it's um really important that, uh for us that transparency is key i'm guessing you you mentioned the c word in there cheating i'm guessing because everyone's all over the world and we are where we are that trying to police this is going to be a hard thing as well. So I'm guessing if you want to cheat, the opportunity will be there. But with people self-policing and everything like that, I'm hoping that most people play the game properly. 
Yeah, I think so. I think that'd be the case. And it, again, if it's on your Facebook live stream, your friends are going to see it. And also, once you on this the software that we've created, when you put your scores in, um, it's one of the conditions you've got to tick. It's a tick box before you can do your live attempt. So you meet in a certain criteria. And one of them is that your your device has to be the volume has to be up full on full blast, um, so that the people that are watching can hear the scores as you type them in. So again, that's another way we can sort of minimise people people um, flouting the laws. Are you hoping this takes off and it's not just for lockdown, that this is something that will continue and be part of the JDC long term into the future? Well, when we started, we, we just were thinking short term lockdown, give some for people to do. But as we've got more and more creative, obviously we, lots of companies come out of this and uh, we're actually going to be um, next, well, this, end of this year, hopefully, uh, all things being well, back to normal, that um, we're going to be hosting a, a, a virtual amateur world darts championships. So just touching on that, how many events have you got planned or would you like to do for the virtual thing? And how do people qualify for these events? So again, so what we're going to do, so um, so you get one live attempt a day. So you do block, they're in blocks of six. So that your average score after six attempts will um, dictate which cut or grade you are. Now, if you achieve a blue status or above, which is 700 points or above the JDC routine, uh, that's your average over the six attempts. You unlock one passport. Um, uh, and so there's six passports to unlock to qualify for the World Championships. So in 36 days, you could uh, qualify for a World Championships. And again, this is only for amateur, uh, amateur players, these World Championships. So you can't have played on the PDC Pro Tour in the last five years or the um, Lakeside um, Worlds in the last five years either. So this is for the, the pub player. It gives a pub player a chance to qualify for a World Championships in their kitchen, their bathroom, their bedroom, wherever, but uh, from home. Long term, can we see something like the virtual match play as well then, perhaps? <laughs> one step at a time but we're not <laughs> at this stage but again this is something that's growing evolving every day um, the more people we talk, talked about it they have their ideas as well and I think this is something that uh, again I think we'll stand the test of time and um, this lockdown I think we're going to learn new habits uh, not just from, uh, in a sporting sense but in our lifestyles as well so I do think uh, Home Darts is here to stay Just still tip or we're going to branch into the virtual soft tip market as well Yeah yeah. funny you should say that we're, we're, we're in, in talks with a couple of soft tip companies um, I think we're about to make a decision on that. And again, there will be a soft tip, JDC World Soft Tip World Championships this year as well. So we're going to have soft tip, virtual and the academy system. We can't wait. How did this whole idea come around? Because obviously we know we've seen lots of things, the PDC darts at home, the modus tournaments are all going on. How did you come up with this concept? Well, it's, I think um, over the last 10 years, we've proven that the JDC system works. Um, it's a really um, uh, a good marker on your ability. Um, again, and your progress is scalable, so you can see, and you always got something to go for. So you're not about beating the next guy; it's about improving yourself. So we also realise that people that play darts are, are of all abilities, and during this downtime, people have maybe just took up the sport as well. So this um, lends itself to absolutely everybody, no matter who you are. So I think that from the, if you're a white shirt, you just start taking up the game. You're an absolute novice. The purple shirt, but a bit of practice is pretty easy to achieve. Um, the other end of the scale is the gold shirt, and to be honest, I think Michael Van Gerwen would struggle to get a gold shirt. Uh, so, um, again, so th there is something for everybody. And with the, the added bonus of qualifying for a World Championship event, I think um, it sort of ticks all the boxes. You touched on the great man there. Being one of your ambassadors, are you going to throw the challenge and the gauntlet down to him to see if he can achieve that gold shirt? Well, we'll have to see if he's uh, next up to it. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, you know, he, he loves the idea as well. And, uh, you know, all of our um, uh, partners and sponsors have been absolutely fantastic. And I think this has come at, uh, come at the right time. And it's something we've, you know, we sort of fed into. Um, but with our creative minds, we've um, come up with something we think is going to be a winner. So as Steve Brown, the dart player, the JDC chairman, and now the virtual as well, have you got time to fit all these in? Yeah, of course, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am busy. I don't like sitting down or sitting still. I'm always thinking. Um, I'm quite, I suppose quite a creative person. But I, I, again, I don't um, I always want to do something or, or better myself or, or make something I'm currently doing even better. So this is sort of, uh, for me, it's kept me going during the lockdown. I'm just pretty sure Darren and Anders and Simon at Wimmore annoyed me by now, but um, I think we're, we're almost there. So the launch date's going to be Friday the 24th. We look out for more details on that and also more details on, on the World Amateur Virtual Darts Championships. So I'm guessing as well, from, in, from a, like a maths point of view, learning point of view, it's important for you with so many kids not being at school as well, this can also help their education as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously the, um, the virtual system is, is because of the, the Facebook terms and conditions got to be 13 and above to play on uh, on the virtual at the moment but yeah. we are going to be working along with the academies to, um, for, for them for, for the younger kids to do as well so but again darts um, for any kid is a, a massive is a great tool for 
for quick maths and obviously all the other benefits which we know of. But um, yeah, so I would encourage all the kids, they can practice on this, play against your family and get your mum off the sofa, whatever you want to do. But again, this is so much, this is so much for all the family. So we've got the JDC academies, we've got still tip, we've got soft tip, we've got virtual. What do you do next? Because you haven't got many markets left to, not to go into. No. Well, let's try and master a few of these first. But again, one step, <laughs> one step at a time. But we are it's, it's uncharted territory, uh, the, the virtual market. Uh, and I think we've got a, a winning formula. I think it's, uh, it's so slick. I mean, I can't wait for people to see it. What they've uh, what Winmore and uh, Winmore and Good Arts Pro have come up with, uh, they sort of they read my mind. It looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm sure everyone's really going to enjoy it. Steve, absolute pleasure catching up with you again in lockdown, mate. And this sounds absolutely fantastic. Thanks for joining us here at Winmore, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks, Phil.